Hello and welcome to the second channel. I'm Skeletons and I make cartoons for a living. And fuck, I gotta talk about this Godzilla video. Godzilla is so popular that a lot of people didn't even know that it originated in Japan. That is the most, like... <laughs> Did you know that Nintendo came from Japan? That's really fucking crazy if you think about it. I'm not gonna be super in-depth with Godzilla, mostly because this is more of a stepping stone to why I don't like this style of video. Now, Dr. Skipper, the person who made the video, made this video talking about how Godzilla does not work on America. Minus One, a movie that is really good, it's fantastic, I suggest everybody to watch it. The point is, is that he basically just says that all the fucking movies are just dog shit only like two movies are good the the first one and minus one i see bullshit when i see it and when i see something like dr skipper make a video about a topic that they don't even like talking about that's already a red flag but also to say that it's not even made for fans or for anybody who's even introduced the concept of like these franchises it completely falls flat the video isn't made for people who want to jump into godzilla like he says in like the the first half of the video he already introduced that Godzilla isn't even made for anybody that Godzilla is just nothing more than just a bunch of fucking monsters jumping around and they're fighting each other as much as you could just say that oh it's kind of just seems like really dumb uh, monster movies I wouldn't want to say that, especially when there's already deeper meanings towards those movies as well. I mean, I could literally say that to any other type of thing if I really wanted to. I could literally just say that, oh, Sonic just runs fast. There's no point of playing any of the other games. Uh, the only good game that's out is Sonic Adventure. Everything else just kind of sucks. 99% uh, of it is kind of bad. <laughs> I don't like that idea. <laughs> You're straight up just saying that it's not good for anybody. Thus, it's not a video made for people who want to actually get into Godzilla. Because as soon as they come into the video, they're basically already slapped in the face by saying that these movies just suck. There's no value in watching any of these movies. People who are already into Godzilla as a franchise will not get anything out of this video. There is no facts, there is no takes that are good in this video. Actually, a lot of the facts here are terrible. <laughs> For a person who says that they did their research, he just says that it's made in public domain and people who've watched these movies didn't even know that it's from Japan. Are you fucking serious? Even when people were suggesting that it was AI, one of the people that was already watching videos about this topic, he did that with AI and it said that it wasn't in public domain. So it makes me more fucking baffled in the idea that he even like thought to put it in the fucking video. I swear to fucking God, the only reason why he even mentions this type of fucking thing is mostly just so he can just shit on disney so it's not good for people who are you know getting into godzilla and it's not good for fans is it at least good for the creator no actually he says that outright he doesn't even like the movies at all this is literally not made for anybody it is not made for fans or newcomers and if it is for newcomers they're basically coming in with like the most false and watered down info about the franchise. Basically, it's just a tourist person acting like he's an expert because he saw one movie, but besides doing any other research or looking into the content, just states that everything just sucks ass. And that is basically why I fucking despise this video. And it's literally everything I hate about the new style of content nowadays on YouTube. It seems that a lot of content nowadays are mostly just the most watered down surface level stuff that doesn't have the best info and you could literally get any of that info anywhere else online. I do want to talk about this one point at the very end where he talks about how what is art. So if a movie fails, if it loses billions of dollars, does that mean that it's a waste of time? He'll talk about shit. There's this like Elementals failed, lost millions of dollars. Disney is ruining like its empire. Pixar is in a downward spiral. What I came in for a video for, I want to talk about the actual contents of the video rather than the numbers that came out and in. You know, there's always like nuance to this. It's not everything that's black and white. Just because like art comes out and it loses money it doesn't mean that it's a 100 failure actually sucks then it just sucks it's literally people who came into the franchise has no clue what the fuck they're talking about and then it just alienates a bunch of people who don't want to get into it it alienates the fans who just sees it and just wants to shit on it they want to flex their knowledge on it and i'm happy that there's videos that are talking about like how bad this video is i'm like looking at like this new video that he made like the call of duty modern warfare 3 has no heart this is literally the same video a year ago when he talked about like modern warfare 2 
And again, it doesn't even really make much sense because a year ago, he just says that it has no guts. Six months ago, he just says that he's done with playing Call of Duty. And then he goes right back to talking about Call of Duty again. It doesn't make any fucking sense. Just because of this one fucking shitty video about a YouTuber who just over edits all his shit. You know, he tries to Mr. Beastify his shit. I get it. If you just want to make money, that's fine. If you just want to make the money and just run off, that's fine. But if you're going to make a video about a certain topic that you want to get into, you have to give a little bit of a shit about your content or else it just ends up being made for fucking nobody. News, Mickey Mouse is now public domain. Oh wait, never mind, just Steamboat Willie. Not, not even that. The name is still claimed by Disney, so the only legal way to name it is Boat Rat Drives Boat. But this free copy- I swear to fuck, this is the only reason why he even like brought up the public domain thing, even if it is not real or not. This is the only reason why he brought it up just so he can make a shitty joke about like Steamboat Willie being boat rat on boat japan still tried to sue the red white and blue because well you miss the shots you, you don't take luka Doncic. i'm not japanese and i was born in 2002 the same year godzilla vs mecha godzilla came out alongside mike's new car does this have anything to do with godzilla no it doesn't but i'm keeping it in the video can you tell that it's not about godzilla at this point because he doesn't even like godzilla he you make a video about Godzilla and you always don't give a fuck about it being Godzilla. I'm gonna be here all fucking day. I'm gonna like fucking like speed this shit up. As if the editing isn't already cracked in the fucking head. So instead of teaching anything, he put on Crash Course videos from YouTube where Lily Gladstone from Killers of Flower Moon taught me film history. Thank you, Lily, for sending me down. What the fuck is he even on about? So that whole point was just that he was just in film school and because he was in film school and was learning from fucking other YouTubers, he found out about Godzilla, but he didn't understand the reason to why I like people like Godzilla. Like, even if you don't understand the purpose of a lot of these movies, you can always ask people. You can always ask friends or maybe, like, rewatch those movies. Oh, my God. I think I need to address in this video. I kind of hate Godzilla, if we could be honest. Get the f*** out, man. He doesn't even like Godzilla, so why do you even make, like, a 26-minute video? The, duh, right? Because money, right? Because the movie came out and it's a critical success. People want to know about Godzilla. So they'll go on these random fucking YouTube channels that will talk about shit like, let's just go on his channel. You go to his fucking channel, how Elemental isn't doing well, or like how Disney's losing money, or like how Pixar is losing money. Like, fuck off, bro. It also kind of revolutionized CGI and changed the landscape of film, yada yada. But Jurassic Park, yeah, the IP is now just CGI wars with Chris Pratt. I don't know what the hell a carbine rifle is going to do to dinosaurs. I mean, Mark Wahlberg used like, a gun to fight metal aliens. <laughs> and while still making a lot of money, because they sure as hell did that, uh, they have like no- You know, it's kind of funny how like a bunch of these YouTubers, they'll like talk about a topic about how like it's all CGI bullshit. When they make videos like this, that is just completely fucking edited up the ass just so they can keep the attention of the viewer two fucking seconds on the surface yik seems like the kind of game that was made directly for me it's influenced by many games and series that i love and this guy influences me because i want to make something like this he's very casual he makes something fun and he talks about the something that like it's both either bad or good he doesn't blatantly just says that everything fucking sucks ass he goes very in depth with the topic and i like how he just goes into it also the same thing when he talks about something that he likes like fucking Sonic Adventure. Which means that if you're smart or you have a certain ability that gets unlocked later, you can find alternative ways to hit them in the middle of their cycle. And yes, these are long ass videos, but it's long ass videos that are warranted because it's talking about something that is interesting in him. It's either that you like, you have to talk about a certain topic that is very like interest to you and that you have to be interested in it to it, or you do it in the goofy route where you just make a goofy video and you just try to make something funny out of it. Make it interesting for the person to watch. This is a neither of them. I'm not interested at all. I'm bored. One and a half speed of it. Like, I don't get how people even say that this video is good. I think it's just boring because I can already see right through it. It's just a bunch of filler. It's just a bunch of filler that's just trying to like fit everything in. And like, there's nothing in substance that is coming out of it. Because why the hell not? And some of the films are fun, I'll admit it. But for the most part, a lot of the legacy of Godzilla just reeks of cheaply made cash grabs. So when Godzilla turned into a cartoon for kids, a lot of adults stopped caring. What is this shit? So then this I'm gonna be mean. I'm gonna be really fucking mean because I don't care. This is a cash grab. This video literally is a cash grab. I don't know how you can make a video of something that you just don't enjoy and that you have no knowledge of and you spread misinfo and that you make bad faith fucking takes and make bad take after bad take and you talk about it for out like a half an hour and then you just say that all of this shit is just a bunch of cash grab. You have no fucking clue what you're talking about.
And honestly, I'm looking at this and I'm just like, man, I want to watch some of these movies. If the person doesn't even give a shit about the topic that they're talking about, why should I give a shit about what they're talking about? Talking so I don't like the idea that just because like the movies are goofy, does it does this means that they're not good movies at all fucking concept like just because a movie doesn't take itself too seriously doesn't mean that it's a bad movie at all which is no surprise that they've been flopping left and right because people are burnt out of high budget mediocrity so to watch a godzilla movie with compelling human characters nuanced discussion with critiques on the japanese government while having havoc and consequences that feel impactful then just talk about that if you think that godzilla minus one is a great movie you could have just talked about how good godzilla minus one is you didn't have to go through this whole fucking monologue about how it's like doesn't work on america when you have like no knowledge into godzilla fought giant monsters 529 million 387 million they're making money and that's all that matters now. But what is art? And how do we view art? Is a nothing blockbuster funded by the US military better than a $15 million Japanese film with a lot to say because it made more money? Is King of the Monsters better than Gojira since it made more money? We're beginning to look at box office as this risk reward system where studios don't see the risk of making something if it can't possibly 10 times its original budget. If Barbie didn't make a billion, was it a waste of time? If Oppenheimer didn't almost make a billion, was that too a waste of time? And this rubs off how we view movies. If something makes. That's how you see movies. What I see movies is that I see a product, I see that it's good, and I watch it. I don't give. Look, I don't give. And I bet a lot of people will also agree on this. I don't give a fuck about these numbers. If the movie's good, it's good. Like, why do I give a shit if, like, fucking, like, Elemental lost a bunch of money? Like, Elemental is an okay movie. Why do I give a single fuck? fuck about I, how much money they're losing how much fucking money oh uh, uh, the money oh uh, the viewers are not watching oh uh, i don't care if people say that it's good i'll go watch it myself and determine if it's good if it's good then i talk to other people who like movies and video games and music and suggest it to other people that's the thing i don't give a shit about any of these fucking numbers i don't care like if i'm doing research then yes oh just because i don't get like a sequel at the end why I don't care about if it, like if we don't get a sequel or not. If the movie's good enough, it stands on its own. It doesn't need a sequel. Does that mean that like of course like I feel bad if like a bunch of like people like get out of their jobs? Like if you want to talk about something that is really bad, Wish is a terrible fucking movie. But I don't talk about the part where like they lost a lot of money. I talk about how bad the movie is in general. Because it doesn't matter if it's like the movie is really good or not. Like it could lose money either or. It could be a really good fucking movie and like it doesn't make enough money. I mean, one of my favorite movies was Iron Giant, and, like, that was claimed to be a fucking failure. But people still talk about that movie. People love that movie. Like, I don't like the phrasing of that. Studios don't see the like, risk of making something if it can't possibly ten times its original budget. If Barbie didn't make a billion, was it a waste of time? If Oppenheimer didn't almost make a billion, was that too a waste of time? And this rubs off how we view movies. Like, I don't view movies like that. Like, I don't view movies as numbers. I view movies as art pieces i guess i'll be happy if like if they gain a lot of money for the movie that's why it really pisses me off because it's all about fucking numbers number and numbers basically what being a youtuber is like it's all about fucking numbers of just growing your fucking channel huh if something makes a lot of money, it must be good. And if a movie flops, it must be bad. It's the same as judging a book by its cover. Yes, there's movies that spend way too much money not being creative because they believe they could ten times their budget by simply existing. But then we get films like Gojira and Godzilla Minus One, which are real creative works of art that stand for something and matter aside from just money, and they need to be praised. But like how everything works, Godzilla isn't liked because of what it stands for. Because what America saw was a cool giant monster that attacked Japan, not an allegory for new. That's not. That's like really fucking wrong. That's like really fucking wrong. You're talking about the general fucking audience, the people. Who don't get into fucking Godzilla. Actually, no. You're talking to people who don't ever want to get into Godzilla. You're not talking about the fans or people who are somewhat interested in it. You're talking about people who just don't give a single fucking dick about Godzilla. And that's what pisses me off about this, like, video. It's literally made for fucking nobody. It's not made for, like, a casual audience. It's not made for fans. It's not made by the fucking... It's not made for the creator. It's literally made for fucking nobody. It basically just says, Godzilla isn't good, fuck you. And that's sad, because, like, I want people to talk more about fucking shit like this. I want more people to talk more about Godzilla. Because of this video, it sparked up everybody from the Godzilla community to actually talk about it. Works well, but if there's anything I can hope to get across in this video, it's to research the things you watch and to give things what- That is the most fucking ironic shit I've ever fucking seen. The irony on that shit. No, we'll just talk about, like, fucking, like, movie YouTubers. We'll just talk to them and They'll just say, like, if they like Godzilla, do you like Godzilla? No. Okay, then I'll just talk about how, like, Godzilla isn't good. Hey, do you like Godzilla? Yeah. Okay. Tell me why. Because this, 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 and this. Eh. 98% of them kind of suck ass anyways. I edited this video in the future and can have your name pop up in the credits. Goodbye. This guy hit with a what a fucking ass video.